The government of the Republic of Namibia supports ending the global tuberculosis epidemic and upholds its commitment to the political declaration of the United Nations General Assembly High Level Meeting on TB eradication. Despite having a population of just over 3 million, Namibia has a high TB burden, with an annual incidence rate of 450 per 100,000 population. Namibia has the 11th highest TB rate in the world. To help fulfill our commitments towards the 2023 political declarations, we have developed our fourth national strategic plan for TB using the People's Standard Framework, which will be launched during our National World TB Day commemorations. We have included TB as a key health priority in the national development plans and other strategic frameworks. We have established the Namibia Parliamentary Caucus on TB, in addition to other national platforms, working groups, and the steering committee on TB. We have commenced the process of updating all our guidelines to be more responsive to the requirements of the NTB strategy and to align with WHO recommendations and provide care at no cost to the affected citizens. We continue to prioritize our key and vulnerable populations, including those with special health needs. We have indeed seen an increase in TB cases owing to our renewed focus on case finding strategies and closing the treatment gap, which has gone down from 42% to 25% in the last year. Namibia acknowledges the targets that we have to contribute from the 2023 United Nations High Level Meeting, and we seem to be on track to achieving them. In 2023, for example, we have recorded 9,192 TB cases, which is at 7% above the target. Three, 913 children with TB, which is 14% over the target. 311 drug-resistant TB cases, which is 19% over the target. 2,096 children contact given TPT, which is 8% over the target. 4,963 older contacts given TPT, which is 5% above the target. And 8,268 people living with HIV given TPT. And for this last group, though, we are close to reaching the saturation, as most of our registered people living with HIV have already received TB preventive therapy. Challenges remain, however, for which we call on the global community to remain alert and responsive. We, we continue to be concerned about the constant threat of reduced international funding against the background of economic challenges in most developed, developing countries. And we are still missing a significant number of TB cases, and reaching these last miles requires doubling of efforts and resources, which we may not have.